Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what I am gonna be doing is showing off a wonderful GTK theme as well as my uh, icons, backgrounds, and suite of extensions. This right here is my current Arch Linux install. And by Arch, I actually mean Endeavor OS, but it's almost the same thing. Now with this, we have some beautiful rounded corners. If I open this up, you can just see how good everything looks mixed with the extensions, uh, the overall color scheming and everything, everything pops out super easy to see. So without wasting too much time, I'm gonna show you exactly what this is and how to install it. And in order to do that, we're gonna go with a vanilla install of Fedora real quick and apply everything that you see here. So we are going to log into this Fedora system real quick. And the very first thing that we need to do before we can actually uh, proceed with themes is we're gonna to want to go ahead and enable the user theme extension. And you, after you do this, you'll be able to enable all the other extensions that I am currently using. So first things first, let's install this browser extension. Go ahead and give it an add. Okay, and now we should be able to just restart Firefox here and everything theoretically should work. So let's go ahead and paste that URL, URL back in and here we go. So that's how easy it is to go ahead and enable extensions, hit install, and now we're good to go. So here is the GitHub for this Graphite GTK theme. And by default, it actually has these uh, dark window borders around. I personally don't like that, but if you do like that, that is an installation option. And actually getting this is fairly easy. First, what we're gonna do is go into our files and create some directories. If you already have themes and stuff, you probably already have the right directories. I'm gonna hit Control H so I can see all the hidden files. And what I'm gonna do is create two new folders. First dot themes. And then second, we're gonna do folder dot icons. And this right here is completely optional, but I'm gonna go ahead and create another new folder and call this dot backgrounds. This is where I'm gonna store those. You can store backgrounds wherever you would like. Now that we have that done, we can go ahead, go back to this GitHub page, go over to code right here and download the entire zip archive of this GitHub. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and save the file, hit okay open up the folder that this was downloaded to. I'm gonna go ahead and close that out for now and we can go ahead and extract this to this directory. So now within the Graphite GTK theme main, we have everything that we are going to need. Now, if I move this up and open up the readme file, this is gonna be all the different instructions and options for the actual installation. You can see if we do dot install sh, it will install all the defaults, but we're gonna change some things here. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna open this up in terminal. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and type uh, dot forward slash install dot sh, hit space. And now here are my options. So the first one is the installation directory. And by default, it's gonna go in user share themes. We're gonna change that to dash D squiggly bit forward slash dot themes, that directory we just created. And now you can go ahead and pick your color variants. So there are the default purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, and teal. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at the default. So I'm not gonna input anything for there. Under color, we have standard light and dark. If you leave it at default, it's just gonna go ahead and install all the variants. And then right here we have the size variant. So if you do dash S and you could do standard or compact, the default is standard. So I'm gonna go with that. But one thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and enable some tweaks. So to do this, you do dash dash tweaks, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and go with rimless. So this is the only tweak I'm gonna add for now. Uh, in this GitHub and with these pictures and all that, you could check out all the different options, but I personally do want, do not want those borders around my windows. So for me, that seems good. Again, go ahead and check all that out. And if you open up this uh, preview and the tweaks picture, this will go in depth on all the different options and what all the different colors look like. So if that all looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, type in my password, hit enter, and now it's going to go ahead and pull anything that I need. When it comes to dependencies, I did forget to mention that. So before you do this, you could go ahead and pull those. If I open up the README, you can see right here, these are the requirements GTK. It's gonna need the GNOME theme extras. And then if you're on Arch Linux, it's gonna need the GTK Marine Engine. So I'm gonna let it go ahead and grab these uh, initial dependencies here, hit yes, enter. And then I'm gonna make sure I have those other dependencies. So let's just go sudo dnf install 
and then I'm gonna add these in. So I'm actually on Fedora, so I'm gonna need this one right here. You can see the different ones as Arch, Fedora, OpenSUSE, and Debian uh, deri derivatives. So let's go ahead and paste that in there. Gnome theme extra, go ahead and paste that in there. And there we go, it's gonna get everything that we need. And now with the theme installed and any dependencies that we may need, what we could do is go to Gnome Tweaks, which apparently we don't have in Fedora, so that's something else we're gonna have to install real quick. There we go, and then in Gnome Tweaks, what we're gonna do is go to Appearance and under Themes, we're gonna go ahead and set this to Graphite which there we go, you can kind of see how that looks like. Personally, I do believe I prefer the light one, which will make the borders light, but you could go with whatever you prefer. This is the dark one and that kind of looks cool too, but for this, I'm gonna go with graphite light. And then for cursor, we could go ahead and leave that icons. We're gonna grab that in just a sec. For the shell, we're gonna go graphite light or whatever you prefer. Actually, let's go graphite dark with this one. Uh, this right here is why we needed to enable that first extension. So you won't be able to change this unless if you have the user themes extension enabled. Now, as far as icon themes go, I'm using the Tela icon theme. So all we're gonna do, just like before, go ahead under code, download the entire zip, save the file, head over to that download directory. And then from there, go ahead and close this out. We are going to extract here. So click on that. And then we will go under the icon themes here. Now, if we open up the README, you could see all the different options and variants, very similar to how the theming installation worked. By default, only the standard variation will be installed. If we do dash A, it will install all of them, which we might as well do. So let's right click, let's go to open in terminal, and then we will do just as before the install sh. So dot install dot sh, we'll do dash A, and like before, we're gonna do dash D, and put this into our icons folder that we created. So it is dot icons, go ahead and hit enter. And now you can see it's moving all these individual color schemes into that directory. It's pretty cool because some of these are like Manjaro, Ubuntu. So if you're running any of those distros, you could have the icon themes that match the operating system color themes. So you see right there, Manjaro dark, uh, Ubuntu dark. So if we go ahead and close this out now, we're gonna go ahead and close this out and travel back to tweaks. And then from here, if we go under appearance, now if we go under icons, we will have a lot of options. And just as, as an example, if I go Ubuntu, you can see the orange that it switches all the icons to. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with, uh, we could go with green if we wanted to, that looks pretty good. Gray, dark is right there. But for me, I like the black one. So we will go black, dark, beautiful. And now before we move on to backgrounds, one thing I'd recommend you do, you could go through and change anything you'd want with the fonts, the startup applications, the top bar. One thing I do is enable the maximize and minimize buttons in the title bar, go through the GNOME extensions, change things how you want to make it look as beautiful and to your specifications. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and go back into our downloads under the graphite GTK theme main and you can see wallpaper right here and all these different wallpapers. So what I'm gonna do is change the name of this. So I'm gonna go F2. I'm just gonna change this to graphite. Give that a, a control X, so cut it. I'm gonna go to my home directory. I'm gonna go to dot backgrounds here and paste that in. Again, you can store these wherever you want, but for me, this is just good for organization, I feel like. And now with those there, what we could do is go to right click on our desktop, change background. And then from here, what you're gonna want to do is add a picture. Now we'll go over to our home directory, under dot backgrounds, under graphite, I'm gonna go control A and then open. And then you'll see that it has imported all of the graphite background pack really easily and now we know where they are. So then you could change this to whatever you want. That looks really good. Uh, I was under the arch on my main system. I do believe they have Fedora here, so I could change it to like a light Fedora background. They have a lot of good options here. And obviously you don't have to use any of these. You could change it to whatever background that you would prefer. Now, right now we're back on my main desktop here. I'm just gonna quickly run through some of the extensions that I'm using. So if I go ahead activities, I type in extensions open this up, you can kind of see what's going on here. So first of all, if you're on an Arch system, I do recommend the Arch update indicator that is up here. So if I click on that, you can see I have seven updates pending. 
Uh, Blur My Shell is fantastic. You can see if I open this up, it's kind of hard to tell because the background isn't too in depth, but this is a blurred version of your background. And then we have Clipboard Indicator, which is a really nice way to go ahead and manage what's on your clipboard. And then you can star things to keep them in there, whatever you really want to do. Uh, DD Term, I did a whole separate video on this. So I'll link to that down below. If I hit F12, this is my terminal right here really easy to access. I don't have floating dock currently enabled, but I did have it. There it is right there. There's a little bit of bugginess and glitchiness. I'm going to probably just go back to dash to dock, but I would recommend a dock. Um, obviously completely a preference thing. Gnome 40 UI improvements. Now this I do recommend if I go ahead and go over here, you can hide the search. So it hides that search bar. So it gives these workspace icons much more room increase the desktop thumbnail scale, which are these right here, just makes it how GNOME probably should look. And then it will actually preview the backgrounds on these thumbnails. So just a nice little uh, improvement extension. Uh, we have a little crypto thing that's super optional. Uh, places status indicator, which is right here. So I can easily jump into my music folder, for example. Then we have the removable drive menu. So right here, you can see I only have one thing plugged in. And then you're going to obviously easily uh, unmount whatever drives you have plugged in using this tool. And out of anything other than the actual extension I demonstrated installing, the sound input and output device chooser is by far the most important to me. So right here, I can go ahead and change what device my speakers and microphone is. Very important. And I almost forgot to mention the screenshot tool right there. Everything that I mentioned here will be linked down below. I do hope you have fun uh, modifying your GNOME desktop. From a base installation, GNOME doesn't seem like something that's very customizable, but uh, if you spend a little bit of time, tinker around, you can really make it look and act as you would prefer. So with that, this was my very last video of 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a nice, fun, simple video. A uh, big thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are truly awesome. And basically anybody who watches this content, supports the videos, likes, shares, subscribes, you all are wonderful. With that, I wish you an absolutely happy new year and a beautiful day. Goodbye.